Okay. Um, not going to say any names during this reading, just in case we can't get it loaded privately. Um, I'm sure you've seen some other readings like that. But I am thinking of you uh, right away while meditating on your energy. Um, I saw someone in a cast. I don't, if, I don't know if it was a cast or if it was just like bandages. I want to say it was the leg or the foot. I don't know. Somebody with crutches. I don't really know what that means. A lot of times these make a lot more sense to you than they do to me. It could just mean because someone's broken. Also, there was a fish. Um, like a, a, it had a really big mouth, almost say like a piranha or an Oscar or something. Um, and again, doesn't, I don't really know. The only thing I can think is if just something is just eating you up inside. Um, and that you're broken. So again, I don't know a lot of times what I see in meditation makes a lot more sense to the person than it does to me. about love if you'll find the true one we'll see if we can get you some guidance Okay, breaking dawn, so that's definitely a good sign. There's going to be a breakthrough of some sort and a time for spirit. Okay, so definitely need to go within, definitely need to be in that meditative state, lifting those vibrations so that you can attract what you seek. And your sensuality is beautiful. So, um, you need to retreat in a sense that you go within and look to spirit, pray, uh, you know, whatever your spiritual practices are, whatever your higher power is, definitely go there. Understand that the situation is bigger than you. Okay? Lift your vibrations. Your sensuality is absolutely beautiful. So retreat in the sense that you regain balance, but don't retreat or or retreat to the point that you isolate yourself and cut yourself off. Don't grow cold. Your sensuality is a beautiful thing. You just have to be careful with it. There is something coming. A breaking dawn. Um, and many times that is the something coming is within you. A lot of times we need to work on ourselves before we can truly attract what we what we want. We say we want something, but we're doing something else many times. You know, it's sort of like how could you expect to to have someone do things for you that you are not even doing for yourself, right? So. Um, Many times we need to go to that place within and get that balance and have a breakthrough uh, within. Your cards are really not wanting to shuffle. So either I'm not saying what you want to hear 
where you don't really want to do the work. It's almost like you want someone to just come along, or it's like this, this, uh, I don't even know how to say it. It's, it's so not to be offensive, so please don't take it that way, but it's like, you're just wanting someone to come along and be that magic person that, that just makes it all better and in this blissful state. You're not really wanting to take responsibility or do any of the work yourself is kind of the energy that I'm feeling. But that's okay because, I mean, we all uh, get there. You know, we all experience that times. And this is part of the reason you need to go within. It'll answer a lot of questions for you and reveal a lot of things to you. What does spirit have for us? Okay. Looking for this sense of security. Be careful. Be careful with this um, financial security. And be careful of how tight you hold on to things. Really, it's a false sense of security if you're not careful, okay? Some secrets going on and you're also completely ignoring your intuition. You're ignoring going within. That's what I said. You, you're you not wanting to see the bigger picture. Or maybe it's not that you don't want to see it. Maybe it's just a little hard to see. I don't know. People handle things differently. Um, and so this may, you know, this may come to you. You may just need to go within to see this because you will have a breakthrough there is there is a new dawn coming okay ace of wands there's this this um, not wanting to accept this new way a lot of blockage well, I would say a lot of blockages but major blockages being created by self like I said not wanting to take that chance that new adventure, that new way, is stuck. It's a very stuck feeling. And it's okay, like I said, we all go through that. You may just need some time. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, the wheel is turning. It does come out in reverse, so there is a lot of negativity against you right now. Whether you are bringing it up on yourself, something that you accidentally invited in, or just, you know, forces and people and things going on around you. Um, either way, the wheel is going to turn whether you are on the top of the wheel, bottom of that wheel, side of that wheel. It turns no matter what. This is also being stuck in these karmic ways in relationships, okay? This is another reason you need to go within. Like I said, it's 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 a very stuck feeling. It's very Wheel of Fortune is about karmic patterns, relationships, things like that also. So, um, you know, be careful of how much of this are you bringing on yourself without realizing it probably because nobody wants to be sad or hurt. You know, that's never our intention. But we do things without realizing what we're bringing about or what we're inviting in or what we're agreeing to. So just be aware. Yeah. Obviously, there's been a broken union here. And it needed to break. This was not a divine union. This was not a real connection. Okay? It, was, it wasn't. It just wasn't. And... It's okay because you needed to release yourself of all of that weight. It was a big weight trying to hold that together because it wasn't meant to be. And you knew it wasn't meant to be.
I don't know how long you were trying to hold on for, but it seemed like it seems like way too long. You knew for some time that this was not the one. And yet you tried to juggle it. You tried to balance it. You try you tried to hold on and stay blind, keeping yourself in this um, prison of your own mind. And this is where you are currently. This is where you are currently. You need to take off that blindfold. There are some things within yourself that are going to have to be taken care of before you can go forward. You need to have this breakthrough. And like I said, retreat and do some work on self, but don't retreat to the point of isolation. Don't get bitter and don't get cold because your sensuality is beautiful. It's just um, fragile. And it is special. Okay. Eight of Pentacles coming in reverse. Like I said at the beginning, you're not wanting to go on these new ventures. You're not wanting to really look at the bigger picture and expose what you've done wrong and face what you've done wrong. You're not wanting to, to learn a new way and um, be willing to put in the hard work and take the, the time. You want it and you want it now and that's not going to work. It won't be real if you do it that way. Like I said, you want one thing, but you do another. And this, we're, all of us are guilty of this from, you know, at some point. Yeah. You're not, again, you're not wanting to go into meditation. You're not wanting to look at self. I'm not saying that it's all your fault. It's absolutely not all your fault. But like I said, there are things within that need to change, that need to give, that you need to look at. Like, how could you expect someone to do and say and be things that you yourself are not willing to do, say, and be? You see. Page of Swords. This is a very immature, a mentally immature um, situation and behavior, okay? It's also very restrictive. You need to, to free this, and in order to do that, you're going to have to go within. You're going to have to pray, meditate, whatever your spiritual practice is. But if you do that, you will absolutely have the breakthrough that you need to um, to get to that next level, to attract and receive what you seek. So it's not just about attracting it, it's about receiving it and keeping it. Again, you get a card about going within, meditating. Also, for Virgo, but um, very much about spending some time with yourself, getting to know yourself again, getting to um, getting to the bottom of things within. You really, really need to regain this balance. It's all going to start with you, okay? And you may need some support, okay? You may need some support um, from friends. Okay, there may be a celebration around the corner for you. This also points to third party situations. So if you're not wanting to be in a love triangle, don't accept or put yourself in the situation of dealing with that. Okay.
You deserve love and you are lovable. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and that's what I was just saying. You do deserve love and you are lovable, but you need to, to be that for yourself first. I don't know exactly what's blocking you. I don't know what's gone on. Um, but I do know that you need to do some work on yourself. True love. This is the romance of a, li a lifetime. So, it is on the horizon. I'm telling you, go within, do some work on yourself, get to that place. You're going to have a breakthrough. And that is going to, like, just spiral you um, in the direction of all sorts of possibilities, okay? When you lift your vibration, these are the vibrations that you attract. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And that's what I was saying too. Sometimes we invite things in that we don't necessarily understand we're inviting. Sometimes we give away our power when we don't really understand that's what we're doing. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Again, like I was saying in the very beginning, when your cards were not wanting to shuffle, it's almost like you don't want to make the effort, but it's not that you don't want to make the effort towards someone else. That's not the problem. I feel like part of you would give anything for the right person. This is not the issue. The issue is making the effort for yourself. Taking the steps to love yourself and take yourself to that level to clear the blockages from yourself you need to be complete when the true love comes. The true love doesn't complete you. The true love is just icing on the cake. You complete you. Only you can take you where you're going. And to do that, you need to go within. You need to free yourself. You need to take back control. You need to take the steps that you need to take and make the effort. And like I said, it's not an effort towards someone else. This is not the problem. It's the effort towards yourself. But it is coming. It's absolutely coming. When? I don't know. When you have the breakthrough. When you realize fully that you're worth it. But understand that that everything that's worth it is worth it no matter what. Divine timing is is its own thing. It can't be rushed. But until then, you're lovable and you deserve love, even if it's from yourself. Okay, page of rods. So yeah. Curiosity. You're getting curious. What's over the wall? There is love over the wall. And you should be curious. And someone is, if they're not already interested and curious in you, they soon will be. Just make sure you come to the table or invite them to the table with as a complete you as you can. You know what I mean? Okay, again you get the Page of Swords. This time you get it upright. So, it's a very youthful, like, go get it. It's, it's a green light in a sense. Go for it. 
It's coming under the true love. Absolutely. The Wheel of Fortune is coming again in reverse, okay? So that's why I say it's so important for you to wait to, to work on you because you do have um, some negative things surrounding you and possibly within you, and only you can fix that. But the wheel is going to turn no matter what, and you are the one that has the power to manifest these things. You're the one that has the power to free yourself and to manifest the love that you seek to attract that. Because the real one is there. It is coming and not too far off. It would not surprise me if this person is someone you already know. That's not necessarily the case, but it's like that close, if that makes sense. Okay, card for Leo. Strength coming out. Stay strong. And I don't think this is a problem, having the strength. I don't think that's going to be a problem. The problem seems to be more with um, not being strong or having the strength but not growing cold in the midst of things. Okay. Knight of Pentacles. I'm telling you, someone's coming, and it's a very loyal someone. But it's a slow-moving energy. This person is not... This person is willing to do the work, so you need to be willing to wait, because it's worth waiting for. Um, it might not be the most exciting energy, but it is the most loyal and hardworking energy. Okay, the Empress comes out in reverse. So, actually it came, you know, like this, not quite in reverse and not quite upright. So it's possible that someone um, will be getting pregnant soon. It's possible that someone is having trouble conceiving. Because it comes out like this, um, it's kind of just up in the air. Um, be careful not to smother or be smothering um, to a potential lover. And understand your creative and nurturing nature, okay? Get back in touch with nature. Get back in touch with your nature. Okay. Yeah. There's some, some things that need to be accepted, like I said. There, there's some wrongdoings that need to be made right. And that is just simply by accepting what has been. Accepting it and releasing it. Some decisions are going to be made. And there's absolutely uh, divine guidance at work here. You get the Eight of Pentacles again. This time you get it um, right side up. So, it's... It's coming. It's coming. At some point you will be able to or be be willing to do the work and learn a new way. It's possible, you know, you you could be going to school or on the venture of doing something like as an apprenticeship or something like that. Um, and you may meet someone there. I don't really know. But um, just in general, it's learning a new way of, of handling things, a new way of life. And... Putting in the required work, even though it may be a slow one, in order to have a sustainable and lasting thing. Okay, so Five of Swords coming in reverse. Okay, there is some change, some definite, definite change coming in the way that you think. Well, we already knew that there's going to be a breakthrough. As long as you're willing to do the work on self, you're going to have this breakthrough. And it's going to happen fairly quickly.
and I think you're going to be pretty victorious. You're going to start an entirely new journey, yes, with love, but also in other aspects of life too. So don't be scared, there again, don't be scared to take these risks. Don't be scared at all. Have no fear. Be in the moment. There is new coming for you. See if we can't get something from this deck. Spirit have for us. We're allowed to know any guidance we can get from this deck. Yeah, cast away out of your depth, feeling abandoned, feeling abandonment. We already knew that. And I really feel like once this is brought to your attention, like possibly from this reading or, or possibly, you know, right around the corner, I don't think this is going to be a problem for you. I don't think it's something that you're intentionally being stuck in. I think it just needs to be said, brought to your attention, and I, it feels like your your energy is not very um, resistant or like it's stubborn, but not in a in a. It's not. Oh, I don't know how to say this. It's like it's like it's not stubborn. It's just stuck. It's just stuck. Something is about to end for now. Complete commitment. Okay, you need to have complete commitment to yourself. And you need to only give the ones that are willing to give to you complete commitment okay we're not doing nothing half-assed this is what gets you hurt that's what i was saying your sensuality is beautiful but it's also very fragile your contradictions and complexities are interesting and yeah just going off of your energy um yeah i'm getting that too that's why it's a little hard for me to word what, what I'm saying. Um, because it's like you're stuck in a way, but it's like you're not opposed to doing it a new way. Um, I mean, yeah, you kind of have been, but it's not like... I think it just hasn't been brought to your attention in a way that made sense to you. you are unique and that's beautiful don't lose that don't conform to someone else's standards the one you see is there really close I'm not saying that you're going to meet right around the corner, but this person is almost like, it's like they're right under your nose. And it wouldn't shock me if whenever you do realize who it is, 
there there hasn't been like several times in the past y'all have crossed paths um, if that makes sense King of Wands, practicality. So, again, with where you are right now, it's not very practical to want or to ask for what you want. Um, but that can all change in an instant. It's, it's just a little bit of asking spirit for guidance and accepting the guidance that you're given. This is also a very, very uh, lustful energy. Okay, it's very enticing. It's very one night standish. So be careful because you get the three of cups again. This time you get it in reverse. This is almost always, always, always third party situation. What you don't want to do is put yourself right back into the scenario that you were in before. And it's an easy pattern to continue on with because it is a karmic pattern for you. Be looking for the complete commitment, not no half-ass shit, okay? You may be in limbo about a situation, about a person. Be looking for the, the red flags. Be looking for the signs. There's nothing that won't be revealed to you if you ask for it, okay? King of Cups coming in reverse. Okay, so there is some um, emotional manipulation here. Could be by you, could be by someone else. But it's 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 very not understanding. It's 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 very stubborn, stuck in their own way, and also somewhat playing on emotions. Okay, you get the Queen of the Ocean, which is the same as the Empress, Abundance, and this time it is in reverse. So, there again, it's possible that someone is lost children or been estranged from their children, like children leaving, or uh, sometimes it points to a custody battle, someone getting, you know, losing the custody battle, battle. Sometimes it's someone just simply not being able to conceive, and sometimes it's someone just ignoring their intuition and their creativity altogether. And it also points to a um, holding on too tight, a smothering type of feeling, either by you or someone that you're involved with. And then the uh, Page of Wands comes out also in reverse creativity. So again, I'm going to go with just straight out ignoring your creative side. This is that getting back to your nature. Because this is all fire, 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 then you're fire. Getting back to your nature. That's also the queen of the ocean or the empress, abundance. It's nature, your nature. Be true to yourself because you are unique. You are unlike anyone else and, and you want to stay that way. You want to stay that way. You just want to be the best you can be, that's all. Okay, Queen of Wands coming out, Passion, this is you. Eight of Swords, okay, this time coming in reverse. So, part of you is starting to let go of that, that self-imposed prison. Part of you is starting to, that blindfold's coming off little by little, okay. Five of Cups, Sadness, yeah, there's going to be some sadness, I'm telling you. You're getting fives a lot. Um, there is change coming. 
there's absolutely change coming and overall at the bottom of your deck you get the um, the lovers which is Gemini but it's also choices it's also a divine connection and beneath that you get the tower destruction change the foundation that you are sitting on right now is about to crumble down and that's okay because it needs to there's a new way there's a new dawn as we saw from the beginning of the reading and this is okay it doesn't have to be as scary as it may sometimes look sometimes it looks like your whole world is crumbling down around you but it has to happen for the perfect one to be built up around you and then they they tell me perfectly imperfect because you are unique so your situation is going to be unique to you so don't worry about what everybody else's shit looks like yours may not look like that but it's just as real okay that's what I have for you. I love you. And sometimes when people um, see the readings on video, they have questions um, that they didn't think to ask or they may need something a little bit more clarified or anything like that. So don't hesitate to hit me up if you need anything else. And that's it.